This is going to be a memory keeping plan with me for the week of October 10th through the 16th. I am using this kit called Full Moon Diner from Wild Summer Designs. I also have these foiled underlays from Tiny, Tiny Little Tulip and they are um, Lavender Hollow. And then I happen to find these Creativity and Ink Pink Holographic header overlay so I will be using them as well I think it came out really really cute um so I am gonna say this art is by far my favorite art that was done for this Halloween super cute I'm not really sure why I decided to use it this week but it came out really cute and I really like how it came out and so so glad I used it I guess I don't know um but yeah love the colors love everything about this kit so the full boxes just everything the uh, I, I just love it you guys and the fashion people were an extra so wild summer designs lets you buy the sheets separately or you can buy a full kit um i did the sheets that i norm i did a sheet that i like, normally wouldn't have done with the like fashion options on the bottom and i loved all the fashion options so i had to have them because let me just say the girl that has blue skin and she has like a purple striped shirt um i think she's like a zombie because she's like the x's like she's been stitched at her neck she is goals like I wish I looked like her. She is just so beautiful. I love her curly hair. Like, beautiful. I just love her. So, yes. I did make some mistakes on this spread. I will say, like, I don't know if I would have done the bottom washi the same way that I did. Because you'll see when I go to put it down. I, um... Yeah, I think that's, like, the only mistake that I was like, mm, I don't know about this. Um... It's like a longer box, so I just put the bottom washi over it. I might have would have just cut that first washi to show the full box, but it was too sticky, and you'll see when I get there. So anyways, moving on, um, I wanted to address one of the elephants in the room, which is basically that I did not have a functional plan with me up for last week. I don't know if you can tell um, in my voice. I try to do one of those post things on YouTube, but to be honest, I don't think that it worked um, because I couldn't find it. But I was under the weather on Saturday and Sunday, which you will see once I get through the plans of this week. Um, but basically, I had a scratchy throat on Friday, so I kind of had a feeling I was starting to get sick, but I wasn't quite sure because sometimes... Like you can wake up in the morning or the weather changing back and forth, which it's super chilly in the morning and then it will be super hot during the day. And then that enough can like trigger, you know, a cold or whatever. But no, Saturday morning, I was like full on sick, um, felt like crap all day Saturday. And then um, Sunday, I was sick too. And then Monday, I had to go to work because I had so much work to do. And um, I probably could have taken one more day. I should have taken one more day, but I felt a lot better than I did on Saturday and Sunday. But, um, yeah, I worked through it and it was a really long day. Um, Monday, the, um, this last Monday, the 17th. So, you know, it is what it is, but that is why I did not feel film a functional plan with me. To be honest, I didn't want to do much on Saturday and Sunday. So you will see like the stuff that I did wasn't like all the time, but you know, I'm a mom. I still had to do laundry and I had a ton of it to do and then Sunday I had to you know um get ready for the week because I wasn't going to be missing the whole week and so I had to get it all ready and so um that me that means lunches and um laundry finishing up laundry I washed my bedding because I kind of just feel like Sunday I was like sweaty so I just like really wanted to like get clean sheets basically um the I don't think I have anything else that I really wanted to say um except for that I missed that functional and then I'm like super late on this because um yeah I just kind of wanted to rest my voice I don't think I would have been able to do it this voiceover Monday or Tuesday anyways because I still sounded very much congested um today Thursday when I'm doing this voiceover I am way better like I am 95% better and so yeah like Monday I took a box of um 
Monday the 17th, I took like a box of like tissue to work with me because I had such a runny nose and um, so congested, basically. I just not a runny nose. I would just have to go to the bathroom and like blow my nose. But I stayed at my desk as best as I could. But I just had like meetings I had to record like I was re- people were relying on me to record them. Um, I probably could have worked from home, but I didn't ask because I don't think my boss really likes when we work from home. And I'm not really in the public. Like, I am pretty much at my desk and I stay at my desk all day. So it's not like I'm interacting with a ton of people. So I do want to say that just in case like anybody was like really worried that I'm like spreading all my germs. I can clearly say that like I was around all these people on Friday and they didn't catch what I had and um, no one else has gotten my sickness. So I do a pretty good job of like staying away from people um but knowing that I have to go to work so I will tell people like hey I'm sick you might want to stay away from me so that they know like I'm sick don't catch my cooties kind of thing so anyways um as I put down these I guess I will start to no because I still have to put the bottom washi and the other I remember the thing I wanted to tell you guys uh so <laughs> I don't know why I forgot to do the date cover-ups, but they're really cute. And I will just say that I kind of do them on camera, but don't really show me putting them down on camera. So there's going to be moments where I like totally am off camera. And I don't know why I did that. It's just so weird. Um, yeah. So actually, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the trunk or treat that we did on Friday. I think that's really why I chose this kit for this week, but... It really has nothing to do with, like, anyways. Uh, so we did a trunk or treat for, um, to pass out some of our flyers for enrollment. Um, our enrollment is down. I've heard that's happened for a lot of schools. And so we were just trying to, like, let people in our area know that we're there, which I think it worked out for the people that we turned, like, gave them flyers and they had little kids. They were like, whoa, I've never heard of this before, you know? So I think it kind of worked. Um, I hope we get some enrollment or some buzz of our name out there. We had an amazing time. So you had to choose a theme. And so we chose the theme Harry Potter, which I am not a big Harry Potter fan, but it was kind of I'm sure so surreal to some of those fans that we were standing there in our like, I bought like a um, Harry Potter type shirt and it came with a, um, it was Harry Potter shirt and then it came with a um, tie, that like a clip on tie and it came with the glasses but instead of wearing those glasses I just wore my glasses and I had a few people come up to me and compliment my um, outfit which I find funny because again I'm, I don't really know the movies so I didn't like look like him exactly other people kind of dressed up Harry Potter ish I should say um but anyways we had so many people who loved it and it fitted us because we're a school so you know like they go to Hogwarts and so um and then it was surreal because that was the day that I guess um the actor who plays Haggard um passed away so it was kind of like I think for some of the um people who were fans were were like really into the fact that we did it and it was almost like a memory for him I guess I again I don't watch the show or I've never watched I've watched the movies but never really got into Harry Potter but I just think that was kind of cool for some people to see so we had a lot of fun we passed out a ton of candy I bought like 50 bags of like Costco size candy and we went through it all we had to turn down people at the end of the night probably like 20 minutes um before it was supposed to end we were having to turn people away we felt so bad because people were coming up to us and still wanted to get candy um but yeah it was a lot of fun and we saw a lot of students who didn't know we were going to be there and they were it was so cute. It was like we were celebrities and they were coming up to say hi to us, like, because they don't see us outside of school very often. So that was kind of cool. To, I've never experienced that. I'm sure teachers experienced that, but I had never experienced that as somebody who works in the office and don't, I don't really interact with students as much. Um, so that was a lot of, of fun and different. Um, and I had actually have never been, this is actually the, the trunk or treat we did is a city that I live in. Um, and so it was cool to, you know, meet lots of people and, um, pass out candy and, you know, just see how many people actually go to this. Cause there was a ton of people. Um, they said they had 6,500 people who showed up 
last year and I'm gonna say that was probably what showed up this year it was a ton of people at this trunk or tree and there were lots of people passing out candy like lots of trunks um and everybody had a really really cool theme so people had like blow-ups we did the back of our car as um like we did the floating lights and we had um a broom because one of my um, co-workers had one of the brooms from the movie and we had cauldrons everywhere that was what we had the candy in it was just so much fun so um the only sad thing about it was that I had no one to bring my kids to the trunk or treat so I feel bad that they didn't get to really do it so I told them I may take them to one that's in the city that our school's actually in um if that is not confusing at all it is because our um our school so how a charter school works is um the city that we are our school is in is small enough that it is authorized by the city that we live in so without actually saying the city names it's kind of confusing but they do a lot of things together pretty much because the the city we um, have our school in is tiny like I said but yeah so anyways all that to say that um we had fun and um yeah. So anyways, we might go to the um, city that our school's actually in and do their trunk or treat. We'll see. Because if not, there is another um, city that's around that does trunk or treats as well. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and start getting on the day by day. So starting off with Monday, I decided to mark work with the work labels in the kit. I did mix them up a little bit and I think I like that better. I did also try to do better about giving a little more spacing and I think I did a way better job this time than I did last time because I want to show that lavender hollow foil underneath. It is so pretty. Okay, so after that I marked on uh, Monday with a Carly Plans um, gift and a script from Carly Plans that it was mine and my husband's 12 year anniversary. So we've been married for 12 years, but we've been together. Uh, we started dating on October 13th. So let me do some quick math real quick because this one's harder for me to remember off the top of my head because um, we got married 10, 10, 10. So it's just easy to remember our wedding anniversary. But we have been together like exclusively dating or whatever you want to say for 19 years I guess so it's been a really long time <laughs> um then after that I mark with a um pumpkin patch and like this pumpkin in the middle was that um it was the kindergarten field trip and I actually went on it um with my kindergartner um so I went for the school so I got paid to do it but um we needed the um, volunteers anyways but yeah, so um, that is from the planner shack. It's a printable. Then I marked with this tiny little tulip zombie girl with a coffee. Was that I was exhausted that day. Then I marked with a um, Tilly B Plans girl watching TV and a binge watch script from Carly Plans is that I came home and just watched probably a bunch of shows. And then the last thing that I marked on Monday with a craft by Towie's... Um, icon pajama set icon and a carly plans bed early is that i went to bed early um we didn't come back like super late we actually got back like around the time the kindergartners got out but i was exhausted because we were in the sun all day and um yeah it was just a lot i did not realize like i don't know how kindergartner teachers do it um, and then the last thing like I was showing you guys right there is that I had no room to put this, but um, Monday was Indigenous People Day. Um, so I wanted to mark that and that was with the Carly Plan script. Moving on to Tuesday. First thing I mark is work and then I marked with this um, looks like a, a coloring page and some crayons is that... Um, it was accreditation day, so um, schools apply for accreditation through specific, like, so we are already accredited through WASC. We're trying to get accredited through Cognia. And so um, we were doing, like, pre, like, an introduction to somebody. Um, so they were just checking our classrooms and what our school is all about. So we were doing that all day long on Tuesday. Then I marked with a coffee cup from Sarah Elizabeth Prince is that I had Starbucks this day. Then I mark um, with a so cute planner like hamburger and drink is that um, we had old market grill this like 
it's I had a sandwich it was so good but um because I was pretty much trapped in the cognia like I was ordering for everybody else they included me in it and so um yeah I was hosting all the zoom rooms that day that's why um and then I marked with a um tiny little tulip like girl frustrated at work was that I was buried at work I had so much work to do that day besides like hosting all those zoom rooms I basically just needed to open all the rooms and make sure they got on time and all that stuff um then the last thing I mark on Tuesday with a craft penguin planner um tv is that I binged watch shows Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing that I mark with a Tilly Blee plans girl crying um, is that I um, was feeling left out at work. Then, anyway, so as I was saying, I was feeling left out, so I put that sad girl. The next thing that I mark on Wednesday with a Clover Prince Co. Um, eye mask and a Made with Southern Love script was that I was really, ti- really tired that day. And then I marked work with a work label. Then I marked with a tiny little tulip um, girl like hitting her head was that my boss, my boss was really annoyed this day. Yeah, she's just overwhelmed. But it comes off really bad sometimes. So, yeah. Anyways. Um, then I mark with a Carly Plans and a Scribble Prince Co. Sad AF. Again, I was upset. So, maybe I was just, like, in my feelings this day. But um, I was supposed to have a date with my husband because we couldn't do it Tuesday for some reason. And, yeah. And then he was like, oh, no, we were supposed to do it Monday. Um, but, yeah. he We just decided not to again. And we got an argument. Blah, blah, blah. So, that's why... I was I was upset about that then the last thing that I mark on um Wednesday with a Carly plans pillow and bed early is that I went to bed early that day moving on to Thursday the first thing that I mark with a Carly plans sticker um sticker sheet and a Sarah Elizabeth print script happy mail script is that I received happy mail that day I received a pink diamond planner pink diamond planner coat I believe I received my mystery kit this day and a wild summer's design yes that is what it was and my wild summer's design um order which will be in my home <clears throat> then I marked with a Tilly plans like angry girl again my boss was annoyed this day um and I sit in the same office with her so you know when she's annoyed then it like affects me as well because I have to hear her be annoyed with people pretty much um and then I marked um, work with a label. Then I mark with a MP Designs Co. Um, I don't know, that's later in the day. That's the last thing I marked. But chilies, I marked with like a spoon, fork, knife, like foiled thing, foiled little icon. Um, is that we had chilies for dinner? And um, with a tassel planner, pink like heart phone. Um, is that I vented with a coworker that day. Moving on to Friday. Hopefully I catch up a little bit here. We'll see. First thing I mark is work. Um, again, this day was super long. We I had work from 7.30. And again, I knew that I was getting sick this day, so it made it even longer. But we had already had one coworker drop out because her kids were sick. And then I had another coworker who really, um, her kid was at home sick. And she wanted to drop out and I told her just do it because we'll be fine without her. So for me to drop out too, I would have been like, I would have felt really guilty. So, um, but we all, all of us, but one, like I said, dropped out. Um, and that was because our kids were sick at home. All right. Anyways. So, um, the first thing, no. Okay. So I'm Mark with a work label that I worked and then I marked with a Tilly B plans, um, I'm sorry, tiny little tulip girl, like, laying down. Um, work was a hot mess this day. We had something start up this day, and the people who were supposed to run it were wildly unprepared, and it took, like, so it was supposed to be volunteers that did it, and me, three of us who work at the school had to help that volunteer, so she was just wildly not ready, let, let's just say that. And so it took a lot of my day, and I really didn't have that much day to work, and so... Yeah, like we had to leave for the trunk or treat at like two thirty, and uh, we were at the trunk or treat from two thirty to like eight. So I didn't get home till like nine on Friday. So it was a really really long day for me. 
Anyways, the next thing that I mark with is Fox and Pip Girl with Balloons and a happy birthday script from Taryn Sticker Shop was that it was my best friend Marie's birthday. Then I marked on the toward on the bottom of that day um, with a Lily's Little Cupboard um, pumpkin and a Carly Plans bat is that the trunk or treat was that night. Um, and then I marked with this Creative Cavern Studio, which is, don't believe is a shop. I marked that I had a scratchy throat. And the last thing that I marked with this pillow is that I was exhausted and the pillow is from Carly Plans. If I don't ever say where a shop is or who the shop is, I will, um, just ask me below and I'll, I don't have any problem answering. Then moving on to Saturday, the first thing that I marked with this peony and paper really cute, like sick girl was that I felt like complete and utter shit this day um to be honest I think it was because um we were at that trunk or tree like I am so out of shape that it probably like part of it was that I had body aches from that like my body just ached from that and then part of it was that I was sick like at night I felt like so like I felt so crappy that like I started to get chills and it just was not a fun night um and I sweat the whole night so Sunday I woke up all sweaty and Anyways, um, <clears throat> so the next thing I mark with a Tilly B Plans laundry basket and a script from Craft Penguin Planner is that I did a ton of laundry this day. I believe I did like towels. I did my laundry. Um, and that just seems like a lot when you're sick. I think I did the kids laundry as well. Um, and then I mark with this really big um, thing from the kit is that I watched um, these like two popcorns. I just think it looks really cute. Um, the Adams Family that night the um live action one then i marked with a fox and pip um girl and a carly plan script is that i've been watched so i just watched a bunch of shows besides that i probably watched some like lifetime movies and caught up on some shows and all of that then i marked with a carly plans um little computer is that i placed a carly plans order and the last thing that i marked on um saturday night and again i Oh, not again, but I must have not pulled a um, icon. I know I didn't pull an icon. So I just used something from the kit and I was eyeing this little coffin bag. So I just decided to use it. And with a Carly script, Carly plan script, I marked that I went to bed early. Moving on to Sunday. The first thing that I mark on Sunday is that, um, again, I was sweating all night. So when I woke up, I felt so sweaty and gross and just nasty feeling. Um, I also wasn't feeling the best, but the body aches pretty much went away. Um, so the little stethoscope is from Sticky Soft Designs. Um, the only thing that I kind of did this day and I didn't mark it was that I, um, besides like meal prepping and stuff for myself and the kids for lunches, I also did my um, bed laundry because again, I was gross and I didn't want my husband to have to like lay in that in the bed with me like with all that stuff okay so then I marked with a tiny little tulip and a um Carly plans script is that I uh, binged watched a bunch of shows probably lifetime movies I know I watched a bunch of lifetime movies um and all of that and then I mark with a Tilly B plans planner and a Taryn sticker shop time to plan script is that I actually did my functional planning on Sunday I just laid in bed and just played with my planner and it actually felt nice so I might do that more often instead of just filming but it felt nice and again I didn't have a functional planner with me up um and then I marked with a Carly Plans computer in an online shopping script from Kenzie's Creations is that I placed an order with Planna Hannah and Pink Diamond Planner Co and the last thing that I mark on Sunday with a icon from the kit this like I don't know what it says. Come on in. Come on in. We're dead or something like that. I don't know. Um, it, we watched me and the girls. They came out and watched it with me. Um, we watched Ghostbusters with like the all girl cast and Haunted Mansion that day. So I'm trying to get all my Halloween movies all done. But that is going to be it for this week. I hope you guys had a good week. I hope you weren't sick like I was. I hope I won't get anybody else in my family sick. I mean, so far they're doing pretty good. And it's almost been a week since I've been sick. So hopefully I'm not contagious anymore. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.